So this is a Lunar Eclipse 19.6. I'm going to take you around the van and show you how it operates. The front of the van is the hitch, jockey wheel and handbrake, and your mains, pl oh, your 12 volt plug, oh, sorry, the plug-in for the back of the car. This is something we'll go through in a separate video. Um, that will be sent over to you as well. The gas bottle, gas valve on top, on and off. Gas pipe work going up to the gas bottle, uh, up to the gas regulator, as you can see here. It's actually got a changeover valve on this particular van, so if you had two gas bottles connected, you could simply spin this dial round over the top, spin it upwards, and that will change over to the other gas bottle without having to change the pipe work. The reverse thread fitment going into the bottle itself from the gas pipe work. On each corner of the van, you have your wind down leg. Then you've got your gas flue for the heating and hot water system. You've got your water, uh, water pump or water pipe pickup pipe going up to the side of the van. And a uh, filter for the water system. I'll come back to the other parts on this side when we come back around the van. Barbecue gas point on the front and gas valve. You've then got your other wind down leg down the bottom here for this side of the van. Locker for underneath the front seating area. Motor mover and wheel nuts. So the motor mover I'll demonstrate right at the end of the video and the wheel nuts will be torqued before the caravan is delivered to you on site. You've got your fridge vents on the side of the van. So the top one here is actually part of your gas system for the fridge as well. And then you've got your normal fridge vents on the side here for allowing the hot air at the back of the unit. Under bed storage at the rear or under bunk storage, shall I say. Allowing you to access the storage area, as you can see. On the rear of the van, again, we have the wind down legs to stabilize the van when the caravan's in use. Also in the back of the van, on the other side of the van, sorry, you have your toilet flush tank. This takes three and a half liters of water and a cap full of the pink fluid. Then you have your toilet waste cassette, which you can simply pull out uh, from the bottom. And then you have your orange button on the back for tipping the, when you're tipping the waste away, it doesn't spit and splatter back at you. The neck here, you turn out to empty the waste out. And the cap that you see here is a measure for the blue fluid that you'll put into the tank for use. So you put one cap of the blue fluid in and a litre of water. Then you've got your grey waste pipes coming out the side of the caravan. So what water goes in the front, comes out the side here. This is different to the drain down valve, which I'll show you once you're inside the van. Then you've got your battery locker and mains connection on the side of the van also. Going on to the inside of the van next. I've actually got the heating and hot water all turned on, so I'm just going to show you the water system's fault. See that? And hopefully, in a moment, you'll start seeing that steam. So I've got it running on gas as well. Bit warm today, so you can't quite see it steaming, but uh, that is steaming and that is warm water coming out of the taps. I think the uh, ACK rolls just ran out of water. To fill the water system, which is one of the first things you're going to do when you arrive on site, you first of all going to come underneath the seat on the far front side of the caravan. And underneath that seat, you'll actually see the drain down valve. So the yellow valve that you see there is the drain down valve for the water system. But while it's parallel with the floor like it is now, it is in the fill position so you can fill up the water system ready to use. So once that's parallel with the floor and you've got your rack roll connected on the outside, you can come over to each tap on board the caravan. And what you'd essentially do is, is you open each tap fully. Open each tap fully. Obviously at the moment it's full of water, as you can see. But normally when you start this process, the, t the tap will need opening on the hot side completely. And that would be the same in the sink in the kitchen, the sink in the bathroom, and also the shower in the bathroom as well. Once you've got all them taps open, the drain down valve in the fill position, you can come up to the control panel above the door and you can turn on the water pump. So when the light here is green, that means the water system is working and it's filling up the system. Once the water system is filled, what you'll notice is the taps will have water running out of them continuously and at that point you can shut each tap down on the hot side you don't need to worry about bleeding the cold side as that will draw water from the act roll outside but you'll shut each tap down and then you can start thinking about warming the water on board the caravan so over by the door just here hopefully you're going to be able to see it with the lights shining through so let me try and get this the best i can 
So you're going to press the middle button here and it's going to bring up the internal temperature of the car ram that's flashing first. So you'll press the middle button again and you can spin the dial to the off position if you wish to or set the temperature of the heating for instance to 20 degrees. To set it, press the middle button again and that is your heating set. When the icons are flashing here, you can actually use the dial to spin around to the different options at the top here. The next one across is your water temperature. So you've got off, eco, hot, or boost. We had it on boost just for now, just so we get the water system nice and hot so you can see it's working correctly. Next to that, you have, just here, you have the option for what power source you're running. So as you can see, we're running gas here at the moment. So you've got gas on its own, mix one, which is 1,000 watts of power and gas at the same time. Mix two, which is 2,000 watts of power and gas at the same time. Electric one, which is 1,000 watts of power on its own. And electric two, 2,000 watts of power on its own. Select the power source, for instance, mix two. Press the central button and the water system and the heating will start working on the electric and gas at the same time. To set your fan speed, you spin the dial around to the right again, press the middle button. And as you can see at the moment, we've got it set to high. You can also set it to eco. So depending on how you want it to run, press eco, it will slow the fan speed right down and it'll actually almost be silent in operation. Down the bottom of the control panel just here, you've got three different options. One here for setting timers for your heating and hot water. You've got your clock set and then there are some options in there for the engineers. Don't need to worry about too much about this. Um, the engineers have been through and set it up exactly as it needs to be set up. Next up, we're going to go to the hob. I can show you, with the hob, I'm just going to show you it all working. As you can see, the, the electric ring has come on, uh, indicated by the red light. I can't obviously show you warming that up or show you that actually working. But with the gas, different story. Gas operation there. Let me just put the camera down to make it a little bit easier. And that's all three of your electric ring, uh, gas rings working away. Next up, we're going to go to the hob, uh, the grill, sorry. So I'm just going to put the camera on pause for a second. So as you can see, hopefully through here, working on gas as you'd expect it to. Then got the cooker. working away again as you'd expect it to. Go to the microwave next. So the microwave is an eco microwave. As you can see at the moment, it looks like it's turned off. To wake it back up, simply hit the eco button and the microwave will come on. Fridge, again, very simple to use. Power on and off on the left-hand side. So you've got power on. At the moment, it's igniting on gas. If it did fail to ignite on gas, it'd actually flash the pilot light here and the warning triangle on, uh, triangle on the right hand side. If you do need to try and reset it after it's failed to ignite, press and hold the reset button here as shown on this diagram and that will allow the gas system to reignite. If you're on gas or mains, you've got the temperature control for the fridge on the right hand side. To go to 240 volt, simply press the button in and that will change over to 240 volt operation. And if you're towing down the road and you want to use the fridge as a cool box, you can press the 12 volt battery symbol. And like I said, that'll work the fridge as a cool box rather than a fridge. Next up, we'll go into the bathroom and just show you the toilet system. Electric flush on top of the toilet, as you can see here. And then you've got your waste flap at the bottom to allow the waste into the toilet cassette. Last thing I'm going to show you on the inside of the caravan is how to drain down the water system. So first of all, you're going to come over to the control panel for the heating and hot water. Press and hold the central button. He says, press and hold the central button. And that is the control panel turned off there. So that means the heating and hot water won't keep continue to keep run, keep continue to keep running. I'm going to turn off the water pump. We're going to come over to each tap and open them up on the central position, so we're halfway between the hot and the cold. So we'll 
will open that up so it drains the water out that's in the system. We'll do the same on the tap in the bathroom, as you can see, and the same with the shower. At that point, we'll come to the drain down switch in the front of the caravan. And we'll open up the drain down valve underneath the seat to drain down the water system completely. So all the water now that's in the system will all be emptied out. The last part of the video, I'm going to say goodbye for now, but uh, the last part of the video will be a motor move demonstration just to show it's all operational and how that works. Thank you for watching though, and if you've got any problems, please do give us a call here at the Caravan Company and we'll be more than happy to help. So I said we're going to go to the motor move now. Inside the van, you'll find your motor move activation bar. Oh, that's right bar. You'll put it on the side of the van, onto the nut. Then you'll push the bar over and lock the mover into place, as you can see. We've got the power key from the inside of the van and the controller. We'll go around to the other side of the van. On the way past, we'll release the handbrake. Handbrake's off. We'll go into the side locker. And just behind the power switch, or behind the power port point, you can turn on the power to the motor mover itself. You can then press the two green buttons on the controller. Turning the controller on, as you can see at the bottom. And at that point, we should have forwards. Backwards. As you can see, let's go to the front so you can see it turning side to side. And then we'll have the turns. And then back the opposite way. And then you'll have your turns at the rear also. So it'll turn from the back instead of the front now. And then you can do the same with the opposite direction. When you're done with the mover, you'll turn the controller off with the two green buttons. You can see the controller is now turned off. You can release it, you can put the handbrake back on. Turn the power off in the side locker. So that's the power turned off. Now we'll come around to this side. Let's put these back inside the van. They'll be down by the door when you receive it. And then you can get the motor mover bar disengage the mover like so thank you for watching